What is good, YouTube? This is the FF Dynasty coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below with either love or if you're feeling like some hate, throw some shade down there. Either way, it all greatly helps us out so we can keep bringing you new content. All right, let's get on to the next category. We're going with your fantasy financial advisor here. So not necessarily buy, sell, hold. We're not going to do that every single week. I'm sure we'll talk about it a little bit with these guys, but just kind of assessing the landscape of the marketplace. You know, when you got to call your guy, you know, are you, can, can I get liquid? I don't know. You know. <laughs> um, all right, let's went, kick this. Go ahead. I just went liquid today. Yeah, yeah. Had to. All right. Did you get, did you get it all in gold? <laughs> it's coming in check for him. Yeah. Good as gold. All right. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Jones is the first guy I wanted to talk about. Now, obviously, this, you know, we're just kind of surveying the landscape here. He was RB4. He's RB14 in DLF's uh, ADP for dynasty running backs. RB14 at this point in time. Obviously, a contract would really – make you feel really, really good about Aaron Jones. Um, but at this point in time, there's 0.0% chance that he's RB14 unless, you know, he has a terrible rest of the year. Like, I've been I've been a little hesitant on Aaron Jones. I definitely didn't want him coming into last year. And then this year, I still – I would take him, but, it, like, it was probably around that range. Uh, and anybody who reached up a little bit or if he, he fell to him, like, this is just a gold mine right now. He won he, – he helped a lot of people win fantasy championships last year, and he looks like he's right back to doing what he was doing. And, I mean, is, 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 you think he's moved up into the first round of fantasy drafts at this point? No, no diggity. <laughs> no doubt. You got it. Uh, you he's know, at you 24 have... overall, DLF. He's got to jump up 12 spots. I don't think it'll be that hard. You had the, the back of that first round in a startup draft was you could there was ten guys you could have got in there. It was yeah, it was you know, very couple, tenuous. Yeah, a couple of four or five different wide receivers based on who you like, four or five different running backs based on who you like. Sometimes it was Nick Chubb, yeah. sometimes it was Joe Mixon, sometimes it was Josh Jacobs, sometimes it was, it was Miles Sanders and all those guys. And it's just like I mean, Aaron Jones just blew up and he's he's really really good and he's on a and and the Packers are rolling uh 40 points two weeks in a row now and obviously recency bias he's right now he's the hottest sure. thing going um if if Josh Jacobs could play the Panthers every week maybe that would be different um yeah and I mean I, I still love Josh Jacobs I think I think Josh Jacobs is, is should was you know, I was drafted him further up than when he was going as well. Like I, I'll, I'll gladly take him in the back half of that first round all day. I, I thought Josh Jacobs was being kind of a little hated on a little bit as well. Yeah, we usually had Josh Jacobs up there, probably above Joe Mixon, and then Joe Mixon above Chubb, and then Chubb. That was kind of our. I think that's I kind, pretty I much had how Mixon we went in front of Jacobs, but in front yeah. of Jacobs. I mean, no, I, I mean, I've always that, like a but. Sorry, go ahead. No, I just I've always been hesitant of Aaron Jones a little bit here, and now I think my I think the script has kind of flipped for me, and now I feel oddly fairly confident with him. Like he keeps doing it and doing it and doing it around, and <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean I'm, there was I'm, concern because you didn't know what was going to happen next year, especially in Dynasty with redraft. I was fine with getting Aaron Jones, obviously, sure, um, because any running back getting any type of work in that offense is going to just crush, and so. But in Dynasty, sure, yeah, we all had hesitance. What's going to happen? Are they going to get rid of him? They just brought in a second-round running back, which go get A.J. Dillon right now. He's super cheap, and I would be, still be wanting to pick that man up. Did you all see that photo where they blew up his legs? Where it's like, Big Co, you see this? I'm going to throw it up on the screen. It just, just made him look like, like a 400-pound dude. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking old... <laughs> Professor Clump over there. Yeah. yeah. They just warped, stretched the photo. It's, it's just, it was hilarious. I saw that anyway. But we wanted to throw A.J. Dillon out there. But, but, yeah. but I mean, and it's, and it's a short off season, so it's hard to knock A.J. Dillon. But seeing all the work that Aaron Jones is getting and then how much he's capitalizing on it. And then there's the blurb where him, his agent and the team are working on a new deal. When I heard that, I was like, oh, shit, I don't have enough Aaron Jones. Like, because that was it. Will, will it be a Packer next year? 
I don't know. And now it's it's leaning in that way, and he's going to make it really hard for them not to keep him and pay him yeah. a little bit anyway, probably not as much as what he wants. But I, well, who knows what's going to happen with that? There's still a chance that it doesn't work out, but it's still it's, it's feeling like, yeah. Yeah. Seems like he's firmly moved into the first round for me. I feel decent about him. Like if you know, obviously nobody's selling Aaron Jones right now. It's not going to be like go buy Aaron Jones. But no, you don't buy. You can't buy a running back after right they now. score forty points. Mm-mm. It's to me, it's the downfield passing. Mm-hmm. You know, when you see a running back get a couple of looks downfield and look good doing it, um, just takes them to a whole other level. You know, yeah. You catch you catch a you catch a big pass downfield and you're getting the consistent carries anyway and you're breaking long runs it's just he's electric right now and and is he when you put all those things together 40 point fantasy weeks show up sometimes and it's it's wild yeah and it's not you know obviously the four the 40s are the high end but like i just sure. feel i feel really good about aaron jones all right uh, let's move on to we, we touched on Barkley in the top of the show. Um, I own we own uh, Barkley and probably the fantasy league that we all that we own together probably care about the least. Um, but we this inherited the cheapest. We, we inherited him and we kind of made a push this year to say, hey, we're still working with this inherited team. We've made a couple of moves, but, you know, we're going one more big push and we got a bunch of old running backs and some older receivers and uh, so we made a push, and then Barkley goes down. So now we're in the situation where, you know, it's probably time that pushes us into a rebuild. Um, but I did want to, you know, we kind of set it off the, off the rip. Like, I'm, I'm rebuilding the team. I'm putting Barkley on IR, but Barkley ain't going anywhere. Like, I'm going to rebuild the team with Saquon Barkley on the – I'm going to sell my other pieces that are a little older and, you know, maybe are rising up in value here and there and trying to do whatever I can. Um, I'm not moving Saquon Barkley. Like, I'm sorry that if you had a really good team, that if you're, if Barkley went down and you were really hunting for a championship, like, odds are your season's probably over. Like, you, you, I mean, yeah, and, and, and in certain leagues, if the competition isn't isn't ripe and and good, yeah, you might be able to to persevere through that. Uh, or maybe you drafted somehow. You got JT this year because Barkley was in and out of the lineup, and JT's gifting you you know, a ridiculous amount of points, uh, potentially a game here. I, you know, there certainly are scenarios where it could work out, but like, just don't go mortgaging your future. And, and because, Oh, well, I need to sell Barkley because I was championship hunting. And now I gotta, now I gotta get rid of Saquon Barkley for nobody's going to pay you. Or if you listen, if you can give away and get a shit pile for Barkley and, and at least it's a good trade and you're getting fair market value, I guess I don't have too big of a problem with it, but most people aren't going to want it. Like nobody comes correct on a Barkley trade every once in a while. You, you see it and you know, maybe you do it, but. So if you were, if you were championship chasing, would you trade Saquon for Julio Jones and Aaron Jones? If you had a good team. Makes it a little better. The fact that those two dudes are such yeah, high probably. scores, but I, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. What do you think, Biko? And uh, I mean, we're talking dynasty, dynasty right? Yep. Right. Right. Of course not. The Air Saquon Barkley is about to be twenty four year twenty four years old in next year's, you know, next year's season. Um, we just said all that about Aaron Jones. If I could, if it was, if you'd have said somebody, I mean, Julio's great and all, but he's old, old, old. You know, he's Julio is one of the best all time ever because he's so old. He's been doing it for so long. You know, um, if as long, I mean, if you if you told me he could continue his, he's like averages the most yards per game of any receiver ever. So if you told me I could get two more years of that guaranteed without an injury and Aaron Jones, I don't, I, I maybe, but I think I, it's going to take. I, and when you say if you can sell it, Saquon Barkley and get a shit pile, like I don't want somebody that was drafted in the third round and somebody was drafted in the fifth round and somebody was drafted in the ninth round and somebody was drafted yeah. in the twelfth round. Like if obviously. you could give me Josh Jacobs and two firsts, now we're talking. Yeah, some. I mean, I just, I don't. I, I can. I, I'm not going to say I'm not selling Saquon Barkley, but it's going to be. It's going to look like he was he's just out a couple of weeks based on the trade, mm-hmm. not all year long. I mean, he's going to be 24. He's 23 years old right now. He's 23. Right. Um, he's going to be 24 next, you know, 
in February. So by the time when when football and it'll be the next year, it'll be like, hey, he got hurt early in the year. Remember he? I, mm-hmm. I, I, I bet it's eighty five percent chance he starts week one. Oh, I would bet it's higher than that. I mean, if obviously everybody heals, they make the playoffs. He, he's coming back at the end of the year. <laughs> Adrian right. Peterson came back after like six, seven months. So I think yeah. Saquon's in that on that level. Um, AP not that I think he should. He should do his thing. Too. But it'll be damn near a year by the time we get back to that. And it's a you know it's a whole lot better than this happening in December. So exactly. All right, Devontae Freeman gets electroshocked back at the coherence <laughs> and <laughs> coherence. <laughs> That's a Seinfeld. Uh, Reference in case you don't know great that one. one. A great Karen's. episode. Karen's. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you could kind of go buy, sell, hold. Obviously, if you're competing, this is this is great for you. You know, you 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 could possibly get a depth piece. I see a lot of people saying, "Well, if Saquon Barkley couldn't run behind this line, what do you expect from Devontae Freeman?" I don't expect a ton from Devontae Freeman, but I think he could catch some balls and and get get you know take hold of the backfield and maybe not be super great, but be certainly worthy of a flex start. Uh, especially the way the season's going and, and it's a war of attrition fantasy football is, and you need some luck and Devonte Freeman could certainly isn't out of the possibility of having some good weeks um, from time to time. If the giants could get it together uh, just a little bit. So, you know what, I guess let's just more so go with it. If you were in a so, so team and you had Devonte Freeman, you kept them on the roster in dynasty, what would you sell them for? Hmm. Something. Let me get something for Devontae Freeman. That, you know, like, it, are you just – is like a third-round pick? Is that like just so he doesn't die on your roster? Like just to get it – I mean, Josh Kelly – it could be Josh Kelly. Like we just talked about him. Like you could – at least you're getting – you know, he was on – nobody wanted anything to do with Devontae Freeman. He was just sitting clogging roster spots up. Let me is get that, Josh like, Kelly. Is that just, is that just too, too little – I'm just saying like that third-round pick. Yeah, yeah, turned, yeah. You know. yeah Any, any mean, thoughts out there, fellas? If your team was real bad, I'd settle for a third, but – I think yeah, you could probably use him to I mean, you, do better. You're trying to do a two three swap if you can. But unfortunately it's probably gonna take I mean and, and Freeman just got signed. He probably won't be it's gonna be weeks before he's I was gonna yeah. say it's gonna be two weeks before he's even good. Um you know, acclimated and knows enough of the plays to actually get out there. If Leonard Fournette didn't uh break tackles at the end of the game, he doesn't have the twenty fantasy points, he's still getting acclimated to his team. He just showed up. So right. it's going to take a couple of weeks. To me, instead of getting just a third, I would if you know, I would say I'd like to wait until he, if he's if he can make if he can be healthy and look decent in five weeks from now before the trade deadline, you get a second round pick from somebody that needs a running back going into the playoffs. And somebody yeah, so like, if you're Man, not, I, know, I don't, I know, I know this is a bad trade, but and I've made it myself going into the playoffs, and I just needing a, a third running back. Wanted, you, got, you wanted to feel better. You wanted some more depth. Give, give me one, give me one starting running back that I can have on my bench going into the playoffs in case somebody gets hurt. Once you get into that, once you get past, and if you got a really good, uh, if you're in a really legit trade deadline ends dynasty, usually in some you, leagues. Most you know? most dynasty leagues have a trade deadline. And if you and if you're listening to this and your dynasty league doesn't have a trade deadline, then we all our home leagues because we wanted to continue to have trades. If you've made a trade, whoever you traded for, you couldn't put in your lineup if you were in the playoffs. You couldn't start them. If you wanted to make a trade because it's dynasty, make a trade. But the person that you put, got on your team in your trade, you couldn't actually put him in the lineup and use them during the playoffs because that's it's kind of messed up um, to be able to make trades in, in the playoffs and 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 put somebody on your in, in your lineup um but just yep. you know for the non-trade deadline listeners out there that's how we got around that at home so if you were sitting with Devonte freeman on your team and you're a mediocre so-so team you know wait and and try to let get some more life let him let him get out of the hospital he's back walking around he's had physical therapy he's got he's, an IV he's been electroshocked dragging it down the, he's, the he's fully caught up with society and you know maybe you could get a little bit more i like that but if I don't you're think a good you're getting team, it too, but bench, if, if I can get it too, team, sure. Well, uh, no, I mean, you're if he's playing football, you'll get. If he's a starting running back, play, if he's getting twelve points a week, you'll get a two going into the playoffs. If before trade deadline, trade deadline, somebody will give it to you. If it's in the if it's in the um, if you got a short bench league and you don't really want to wait the four or five weeks for him to be starting and be good enough, I don't. I wouldn't mind taking. You know, hey, take the third now. If it's, you know, FFPC, short bench type stuff, 
take the third, get rid of him, and then go play the waiver wire with somebody else. All right. Um, well, now we're going to get to some some other guys. Just have a little fun here at the end. Uh, I got a quick redraft. Well, we'll see. I'll see you for the end. But, Scotty Miller had a bad uh, had a bad week too. Here we were really hoping for a big Scotty Miller week. Uh, Godwin comes back. Any is there? Uh, are you, you trying to s- still maybe pursue a little Scotty Miller? Because you know, all through training camp, it was how much he was getting peppered and how much uh, part of the offense he was. A little bit of a bummer this week. Probably could have had a touchdown if Brady wouldn't have uh, underthrown him on the flea flicker there. Uh, but well, had no laces that, and the that calls and, and a sweaty ball. And there was another drop touchdown. He it was a little yeah. bit hard of a catch to make, but mm, you got to make that catch, and he would have had a touchdown. Uh, and and like you said, if he wouldn't have got underthrown on that flea flicker, it could have been two. So I think there is a small window here. Scotty Miller's stock's probably going up. I don't think the fact that. I think having those other two guys active at the same time was only going to help Scotty Miller, and he's he's a deep threat, and there's all this love, and he still had uh, six targets, five catches for 73 yards in week one, and then he drops a touchdown and gets underthrown on another possible touchdown in week two. Maybe go get you a little uh, cheaper money, Scotty Miller. How much yeah, I don't, to- I don't mind it. I mean, like, was that your next question, how much are you trying to give up yeah. for? Yeah, what's this? What's this? I mean, a Scotty, I'm probably still minimal. Like thirds? Is that what you're trying to do? I'll easily um, give you two thirds. I mean, if I had to. You give two, two thirds? thirds? I just said one. Just one I'm third? I don't think thirds one third is going to get it done. Oh, I think a third will get it done all day long. Oh, well. I think for should. some people it may, some awesome. people it might. If, Let me get yeah, it. I don't, I wouldn't, I'm not giving up two-thirds, I don't think. so. No, you can ship it. If I got, when you find a roster I got him on, send me a third. You can have him. All right. Jarek McKinnon, another guy who's been electroshocked. Back at the Garrett's. <laughs> uh, we got all sorts of electives. Those paddles have been busy at the end of this show. <laughs> um Jarek McKinnon, about to get some run, got a little run at the end of uh, the game last week out of necessity. He got a run in week one, obviously. Um, thoughts on McKinnon? Is it, is it Are you, you interested? You buying? You selling? What are you doing? His stock's going up from here. Like, Well, he, hope you, you'd hope. I mean, I don't see any way around it. Coleman's about to miss time. The, sure. They want to they wanna, um, well, get multiple backs involved. That's really it. <laughs> Monster may or may not play this week. Like McKinnon could have the backfield to himself this week. Like this week, I'm down to like be him and fire him up. Jeffrey Wilson. And but he looks Jeffrey like he doesn't quite look back to form. Like he doesn't look like he's like super super fast. But he, he still looks look like really jet. quick. He, he doesn't look like the jet, but he still is really quick. Like he's quick for a second, and then it fizzles out. He doesn't have the long speed yet. And let's not act like he's not coming off two injuries back to back years, and so. <laughs> But he looks like he's fitting in exactly with what Shanahan wants to do. It looks like a great fit. Looks like why they brought him in to begin with. And if I can get any bit of that, and, and Coleman's out for six weeks or whatever, and Monster's questionable, and I know that the two backs are relevant, McKinnon's stock is going up after this week. I don't know what you need to do about it, but it's going up. Well, I mean, I. I agree, Jay. I mean, I think it's it's obviously going up a little bit. But anyway, just even even though I mean, you don't expect a guy coming off of two straight ACLs to look like the Jet, but he has put together some chunk plays, yeah. um, which you know, if nothing else, brings you to still got vision to get things done. And at first, it it it, it lets you at least know it's not just like oh, it's a feel good story. And the Niners were like, well, we love this guy; he's a great guy, and so he battled back. Let's let's put him on the field a couple times where it doesn't matter. You know, um, getting chunk plays like that, it just uh, – it, he's he's back. He's not – maybe he'll never, ever be 100% again, you know, but he's obviously better than um, yeah. some some players in the league currently. Now, there's a player I'd send two-thirds for just to get to see if I could get that party started. Send in two-thirds for Jarek McKinnon? Yeah. There you go. I, yeah. I mean, would you, would, you give, would you give a two and get back a three for McKinnon? I would. So you you would just not take Mc. You wouldn't trade McKinnon for a two, get back a three. Am I getting the two or am I giving? No, the you're two? getting McKinnon. I don't want to let go of the two. Okay. Jay Wayne, you look like you were a little more into that. I mean, it's RB twos are like hard to come by. To give up a two. Yeah. Um. If you that could seem like a lot. If if you could. Uh, 
Would you trade Devontae Freeman for Jared Bannon? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think so. Yeah, this dude. I think so. Been, yeah. I've seen him on the field for two games. The offense is much better. And yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Wayne Gallman could be the best back in that backfield. All right. Well, we got two guys that – two two more guys on the all-electroshock team. Um, <laughs> Mr. Reed is up next. Old Jordan Reed. Another liar, liar drop for you. We're hot on the liar, liar tonight. Um, <laughs> There's no such thing as a weaker sex. <laughs> Where would Tina Turner be if she turned around and said, hit me again, I can put some stank on it. Rolling down the river, that's where. <laughs> The best line, I don't know, there's so many good lines, but he's like, <laughs> she's like, well, what were you doing? Having sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right when he can't tell a lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, it wasn't even working. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> Having sex. <laughs> I was trying to make partner, and I thought I partner Well, I hope it was with wheel. someone really yeah. special. That's the thing. I don't even like her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. What were we talking about? The Jordan Reed. Jordan Jordan F and Reed. He's <laughs> back. All these guys could be dead at any second. They've been dead. They've come and, back from the dead. And how all he escaped week two. About. Week two body bags, so many dudes, and Jordan Reed escaped. Yeah, the Niners were just had the Grim Reaper out there touching cats. Just <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Reed's like looked at Jordan Reed was like <laughs> You've done your You've time. You've been through too much already, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um It's fucked up. So <laughs> Obviously, he was been on some waiver wires. He hadn't been super relevant in some some leagues. He was available. Some leagues he wasn't in any of the FFPC leagues. Me and Big Co scooped him up last week for a dollar. Couldn't believe the leagues that he wasn't available in. I Obviously, was didn't at start rosters. him, but it's like, exciting to have him. And the, how did you have him on your team all this time? Any tight end premium trait? Would you would is this is would you give up a third for Jordan Reed? Yes. Tight end premium. Yes. I would just for lightning in a bottle. I'd give up a third just for the idea of if he could make it just to the rest of the season and then he retired. I don't give a shit. If he's healthy and he's on the field, even if Kittle's back in there in two tight end sets, what he can do in that Kyle Shanahan offense, I'll give you a third round pick for Jordan Reed just gambling that he makes it seven, eight games. Yeah. Let me get that fourth back. Let me get that fourth back. (laughs) (laughs) Give me a fifth back. Give me a fifth back. I pick Um, up a wily veteran that nobody wants. It's, you know, obviously the Niners don't have a whole lot of weapons right now. Um, obviously, when, if, D, we don't even know if Debo, it can come back this year. Foots can be fickle. Debo's already had foot problems, ankle problems. Strong alliteration there. Foots can um, be fickle. And the other receiver's a rookie. And now we saw Debo ascend as a rookie, and we think IU can do everything. Debo, kind of similar player, and was a real good scheme fit for them. But even in two tight, even when both of those guys, if they're back out there, Reed could easily have a spot on this team with two tight end sets. And you know Shanahan likes to get freaky with that play call and be all sorts of multiple and all sorts of different sets. And you just saw they have history. Um, He chose to come back and play for the Niners. He's getting right. He's still only 30. Um, this is a fantastic pickup for teams who Only got him 30. last week and, and this I'd week. T- I took the over on 34. Yeah. <laughs> uh, turn 30 in July. So just turn 30. Tight ends are just getting started. Um, yeah. So, I mean, obviously he's got, you know, he takes a bad shot and that could be the end of it. But, I mean, still as make long the as whole he's out there here. and, you know, the Niners are, you know, perfect, perfect setup for Jordan Reed. So that's a hell of a pickup. Uh, for anybody who just got him, who's everybody needs a tight end. So let's sure. not get it twisted. All right, last one. Uh, I got Nikhil Harry on here. I'm not necessarily going to go down the road right now, but I mostly just put him on here because I don't want to forget. I got a redraft trade. I've rostered Devontae Freeman after week one just because I had uh, I drafted Debo Samuel. It's a little bit deeper bench, so I s- scooped him up. Would you trade Devontae Freeman for Nikhil Harry? Redraft. Hey, redraft? Um. I got okay. my running backs are okay. I guess if you need All a right, wide receiver, I'm good. I'm good no. in the running back. I mean, my receivers are are okay. Not not super. The top ones are good, but the you bench have to is start okay. three. You don't have to start three. Two I mean, flexes. I guess I don't know. I mean, it looks like looks like he's going to be getting a bunch of short area targets. I don't know that he can really do much with them. I mean, um, maybe, he's, maybe he's, he's uh, 
I had it somewhere. He's pretty. Let's see here, real quick. Uh, <laughs> Nikhil Harry is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The thirteenth most targeted wide receiver in the league. There you go. Uh, th- through two weeks. Um, through two and weeks. Does he look super great before and after the catch? Not at all. Looks like a tight end. <laughs> Looks like he's in molasses, but he's big and physical and, and can kind of win, <laughs> kind of win in that spot. And Cam looks fucking laser pinpoint accurate when he cocks back to throw that thing. That thing's coming out like a fucking rifle. <laughs> um, and who else do they have? I mean, Edelman's been in fuego. Like Jesus, I left. I left first year in a long time that I left that man for dead. He was always on my team. Sure. Um, and any sort of startup, but damn, that might have been a mistake because he looks ridiculous. And I mean, I like, I, I don't love what I'm seeing from Harry necessarily, but I like that he's being targeted and that he's, you know, tur- looks like a good possession receiver. Uh, I'd probably make early. that trade for De- with Devontae Freeman to get him. Sure. If I have him in Dynasty, maybe I go fishing for that first back that I spent on him. Hmm, I'm not probably sure you're getting get that, that right yet. now. Would you would you uh, settle for a two? You gotta have you gotta have you a multiple a, need, touchdown you, game. First. Yeah, you need a, you need a couple marquee games where Harry's been in the mouth for a some people mouth really for really like Harry though. Yeah, right. I think the Harry love is dead right now, and everybody's mad they didn't take DK. So I don't know. Uh, maybe not anybody on Twitter anyway. 